In this particular play, we got, we got what we call a base play. We call this play Duke. Um, and again, this was the base of our 1-4. We kind of did this. And, any, and it's, you're going to notice that in some of the other plays we run, it's going to come back to this same dynamic of this setup that we do, use for Duke. All right? Um, ball up top. This guy right here, I'm just going to point him out. This is our five guy. This is our best post player right here. This is our guy that can really operate from that five foot in. Got all the moves, got all the, you know, the crafty things to do up underneath. We usually, this is where Tony Parker was when he played with us. Okay? Um, yeah, this is our four guy. We try to make sure we got our best screener. Hopefully it's our four guy, best screener. And then we got our best attacker, you know, from the wing area. Now this could be the point because we can always have the two to run it. But generally, we like for our attacker to be our two guy, and then we got our wing, or our three over here. Generally, we put our athletic guy over here. All right? Now, with Duke, first thing, we always challenge this guy to make sure he gets open. Uh, he can get open a numerous amount of ways. He can, he can jab down, pop back out, all right? Walk him down, come back out. But we want to get this guy open, and we're going to hit him with the entry pass from the wing over, to the wing over here. All right, now this guy's just gonna fade over. You just go over here. Now we're gonna set up a ball screen action and we're gonna go two man here. All right, can I get one of you guys out real quick so I can explain how we do, just defend him real quick for me. All right, now we do ball screens, but let me tell you this about our ball screens. We try to get our guys to do angle screens. We want the guy to go over the top, okay? We want him to go over the top. And that's a reason for that. Uh, we don't, because if you just go with a basic side screen, all this guy can do is just go up underneath and he blows up the play, okay? Or he can blow up the play, all right? So we try to get him with an angle screen, meaning we want to get the bottom half. This is the bottom half. This is the top half. We want to get the bottom half. So we try to get him at an angle, okay? We want this guy chasing this guy, all right? Now, this guy's going to come off the dribble. His goal is to get to the paint area, okay? His goal is to get to the paint area. Now that could be for a shot, or it can be for what we're about to set up on this opposite side. Now while that's going on, this five, who's our best post guy, he's gonna walk his guy down, and he's gonna pivot and duck into the lane, right here, and sit up under the basket. Now again, we did this with Tony Parker, 6'9", 270. If he walks the guy down, and he sits right up under the basket, ain't too much anything somebody can do about it. Uh, if we hit them right there. So, come on back again. But again, uh, let me get one more guy to just defend the five here so we can kind of show. All right. You're going to walk them down, walk them down, walk them down, walk them down. And you want to walk them down as far as you can, then you want to duck in. And all that's happening while this guy's attacking. So when he attacks, this guy's in a position where he can hit the duck in guy. Now this three guy's just gonna fade to the corner, and this one is gonna slide over. So now we got our spacing. We got our spacing. So now, if they see that this guy's in trouble, one of these guys that's guarding, uh, one of the defenders that's guarding either one of these guys, if they slide over, now we got options. You can hit him, they run out, extra pass, all right, shot, or we can drive, okay? 